is um, the one that we do with our hip stretch and sometimes when we're doing it in class you might not always be able to see me plus it's really good to practice and we'll go through the technique of the downward facing dog as well so we're going to go near the top of our mat big deep breath in go down towards the floor stepping back right then left we're pushing the heels down into the floor fingers are spread and we're pushing back now if you struggle to get your heels to the floor the way to do it is you push one heel at a time down towards the floor, so pushing away. We're going to really make the right leg nice and strong. We're going to take the left leg into the air. As you do this, you might notice the right heel drops to the floor. Then we're going to bring that left leg through to so it's underneath the right thigh. If you need to, you can go down towards the floor for that extra stretch. We should be feeling it into the left bum cheek and the leg maybe into the right groin as well. Coming up, left hand stays down, right hand grabs all the right foot, pulling it in. Feel that stretch onto the front of the right side. Releasing that right leg down, pushing back down the dog, push those heels towards the floor. Remember if we can't, we pedal, we take the feet a bit wider. Contract and keep the left leg nice and strong. Take the right leg into the air. Bringing it through. Right leg. We're going to the left side. So the opposite from before. If we need to, we go forward for more of a stretch. Bringing it up. Right leg, arm stays strong on the floor. Left arm takes over the left foot. Bringing it in. Down, the knees, sitting back into the heels, and away. That moment comes with practice taking the leg up into the air, even if you can only take the leg a little bit into the air, it doesn't really matter. So have a little practice of that. It's a really good stretch for anyone who does a lot of high impact and especially a lot of running around the hips and the glutes area.